As the yearning lingers calling for Honorable Miriamu Issa Brainabas to contest for the House of Representatives, Bwari Amak Federal Constituency, she has shown interest and has finally made it official today at the National Party Secretariat. Honorable Miriamu Issa Brainabas obtained her nomination form to contest for the House of Representatives, Bwari Amak Federal Constituency. I'm so delighted today. I have obtained my form today to run from the position of House of Rep, Amak and Bwari Federal Constituency. I'm so delighted because as the only female councillor in the FCT, and I'm doing very well. And that is why the women see it, that it is good for me to run for this position. When women came to say, oh, Madam Miro, it is good for you to run for this uh, position, I first of all denied. But when I picked the courage and I know that I'm going to serve them very well, I am not afraid. What a man can do, a woman can do very better. So I am not afraid of any man. I have not stepped down for anybody. If you look at the platform for uh, Buari updates, I have debunked the news. There is not any constitution that bind that we should go on consensus candidates. If there is a consensus, I should be the consensus candidate because I'm the... There is no longer rumor that the current councillor, Ushafa Ward, who doubles as the only female councillor in the FCT, is a strong and hardworking woman who broke the re record as the only female who has shown interest to contest for the House of Representatives in FCT. This was confirmed by Mrs. Sheon Bosse Diosami, the National President for the Progressive Women Forum, APC, who acknowledged Honorable Miriam Issa Brainabas as an icon and savior in the Bwari Ama constituency and will perform greatly as a member House of Representatives. I'm Shane Bosset de Osamaye. I'm the National President of the Progressive Young uh, Forum of the party. And for me, I want to say that it's a good development that we have so many uh, capable women coming out to run for offices. For instance, we have Honorable Miro. Honorable Miro is the only female uh, councillor in FCT. So she's our icon, she's our symbol. So for her to come out now and say, yes, I want to run for member House of Reps representing Buhari and uh, Hamak. It's a welcome development. So it's a good thing that we are going to support her. When she was the councillor, she, she did well. She was able to touch the lives of her people. So now that she's running, we are hopeful, we are optimistic that if by God's grace she becomes the candidate of the party, she will even do more. And if she's eventually elected as member House of Reps representing Buhari and Amak, she will do absolutely well. Repres the National APC Women Leader, Dr. Beta Edu, was not left out as she was seen celebrating women involvement in politics and encouraged Honorable Miriamo to push further and never relent in her quest. Woman leader, will help me, woman leader. Men don't sit and say chairman or this one will help them. They go out and they fight. So you push for everybody you need to consult. Then just go and consult them. Yes, we'll work from here and by God's grace we will be after obtaining the form at the National Secretariat, the relentless Honorable Miriamu left for a courtesy visit to the Esu of Ushafa Palace to pay her respect and receive royal blessings. <laughs> As today marks the first day for the purchase of nomination forms at the APC National Secretariat, it has paved way for more aspirants to come out and purchase theirs. We hope for a peaceful and successful primary election. Sarah Bakoshi for Atazati.